Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more Bloodborne today, and uh, let's get it going. Let's do some uh, some Bloodborne. In. Now, uh, guys, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going, including Bloodborne. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, we see a follower goal of seven. We are currently at zero. We have just reset that goal, so the next person to follow will tink, break ground on that follower goal. The 25th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. It is called Learn to Love the Grind of Twitch Streaming. And that one is going to help you to stay in Twitch for the long haul uh, so that you don't get burned out on the uh, process of building your channel. Now, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized and has been coming out for the last 25 weeks in a row, so there is plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, let's jump into the Bloodborne, ladies and gents. Decap, welcome into the stream. Gaming Hour, welcome into the stream. Can I get some hearts as well for Gaming Hour in that chat? And uh, let's jump into the show. Here we go. Right. So this is where we are. I'm wondering if um, every area, <clears throat> like if you close the game and you reopen it, it seems like whenever you spawn in an area, there will be like a beast roar that happens somewhere in the background. And I think that's kind of a cool effect. Like, you know, it's not a monster that's like right next to you. It's just like a general warning about the area itself. It sets the tone, you know? Quite cool. So we're in this big forest area. We only have twelve thousand blood echoes, so it's not even worth going back to uh, to the uh, the lamp. And we're just gonna sort of see what is there to find. We've been there. We can tell which areas we've been to, sort of, because. Uh, <laughs> they are cleared out. There's nothing there. <clears throat> I believe that is a new area, though. And then this may be a new area. They might be the same area. I can definitely hear snakes around here. Oh, three of those guys, huh? Damn, they're not even that susceptible to fire. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, they got me! Oh, wow. All right, ladies and gents, that's uh, our de our death for the show. No, it's uh, it's it's uh. Last episode, I don't think we died at all, so I suppose that's our death for the last episode. <laughs> We've still been doing pretty well with our uh, ratio of deaths in this game. Let's keep on going. Here we go. That's the thing, though, is that it's going to be somewhat annoying to have to, uh, to have to do the area again because there's so many snakes. But it's just a matter of, uh, you know, perseverance. It's not really that difficult individually for the different snakes. So let's do it. It's my own fault. My own fault. 
We clearly had those guys too, it's just that I, uh, I tried to get too greedy about it. I don't know why. Whoops. Alright, there's one guy. Probably don't have to actually get him. Oh, there's no more snake here. Or was he in this other area? He was here. No? Maybe I don't remember where I'm going. I think we're supposed to go down, though, to get to where we were. Decap hashtag, don't get greedy, it's not worth it. Garen saying it's good to be back. Nice to see family. Yeah, it's always good to see family. It's always good to see family, even uh, if it is for uh, bad circumstances. It's good to see family. Does he have an item? No. So now we just have to go kill, like, I don't know, 40 of these snake things, wherever they are. We don't actually have to kill all of them. We just have to kill the ones on our way to the thing we want. There's only two areas, we sort of narrowed it down, that there's only two areas we really want to go to. But the problem is we just have to... We have to make sure that there's no snakes sneaking up on us when we approach the area. Whoops. Whoa. That guy did a lot of damage. See, that's the thing, is I feel like those snakes are meant to be like... They don't actually... They're not dangerous, like, if you are proactive against them, but if they come up on you, then you could get killed by them almost in one hit, as you saw right there. Alright, here we go. Oh, that guy's found me. Alright, you do your worst. And the amount of souls we lost is not actually that significant. It's really not significant at all, so... How's everyone been? I've been doing pretty well. Progressing. Getting some stuff done in the old BB. The old Bloodborne. Some Borderlands progress. Happy with that. is where this stuff was. And we may have to fight one more of those big boys. We might have to fight one of those big boss snakes. Yeah, there's one over there, which we shouldn't have to fight. Maybe we do, though. Yeah, we do. Is there anything over here? <clears throat> Did 
this guy's easy because we can just uh do this. Give me some uh blood vials. Not that I need them that badly, but you know. I would like to have them anyway. I'd like to have twenty blood vials. <coughs> so there's a big boy snake somewhere around here. And I hear a lot of snakes. So the big thing is that there's three guys standing right there. Now one of them has just been triggered. I think one of them is coming over here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so good. Then we only have to fight one guy. That's what I should have done is to, not just to do this, but to lure them specifically over. Damn, this guy has a long reach. Whoa, he tried to grab me. Got him. That's it. Good stuff. All right, let's pour some coffee here. There's my blood vials. Thank you, game. And so one of them has probably eaten our uh, blood echoes from before. Let's see what we can do. Is that guy going to come for us? I don't think so. You can just hear a lot of snakes writhing around. Pretty creepy. Beware of seduction. Time for ambushes. Whoa! Big hit, big hit, big hit! Wow. That guy almost got us. Wowee. Striking blood gemstone. I bet that's pretty good, actually. Do you guys saying, what's the difference between blood vials and blood echoes? Um, oh yeah, Gaming Eye, that's exactly right. Blood echoes are the souls. So they're a currency. Blood vials are a health, a health item. Blood, uh, blood vials are essentially the, uh, the uh, life gems from Dark Souls 2. As opposed to, I guess you could also call them Estus flasks, but they, uh, they don't regenerate like, like Estus flasks do. Okay, so we have a bloodstone chunk. That's the first time we ever got one of these things. And that's going to be for bigger weapon upgrades. I wonder how high we can upgrade our weapon. We're already at like plus 6, I think? Plus 7, maybe? Okay, that's that big guy. Oh, there's stuff. Wow, down there is a lot of stuff. Time for sneak attacks. Holy crap. There's two pathways to take here. 
Also, pay attention to the design of this forest. Like, look at the, the plants that are right next to me here. These flowers, uh, like, naturally kind of wave around in the wind. And it, it looks a lot like those snakes, which naturally wave around in the wind. So, like, the design of the forest, sort of like the surrounding greenery of the forest kind of tricks you into thinking that there might be snakes anywhere. It's really, really smart um, environment design. Okay, there's two of these guys. No, three of them. If we came down here, though, unless we pull both of them, we might be okay. Oh, I think we pulled both of them. Oh no, only one of them is coming towards us. Dang it. I can't lock onto him. Got him. Good. So did we ever get our blood echoes back? I don't think we did. But I wonder where they would have been. Maybe they're somewhere over here. Oh look, that guy ate them. Alright, well let's go pull him, I guess. I don't really need them, but... I just like the idea of getting them back when it's not in a boss battle. If it's a boss battle, then it's my own punishment that I never reacquire my uh, my uh, blood echoes. Because I shouldn't have had any on my person to begin with. It's a discipline thing. Got him! There we go. Thank you, game. Now we have 27,000, so now we actually do have enough to, uh, to level up. So we can, uh, we can go get this level up, or kill this one guy, then get the level up, and then go. I wonder what the best strategy for this would be. But we can lure him to next to this tree. Come over here. Hmm. Alright. Uh. Ah! Whoa! There we go. Got him! Murky Blood Gemstone. Twin Shards, three of them. So we're definitely going to be able to level up our weapon. Wow, another one! They're so nice to me. We got another rune, nice. Thank you, Bloodborne. What do we got here? Rune was called uh, Clear, no, it's called Deep Sea or Clear Deep Sea. Oh, increases slow poison resistance plus 100. A secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of Bergenworth. This transcription of the Great One's inhuman voices depicts downreaching currents. This rune means Deep Sea and grants augmented resistance. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep an auger of eldritch truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. So this one is frenzy resistance. This one is slow poison. How do I add these? Maybe I have to, uh, honestly, I don't know. Oh man. All right. Um, 
another bunch of bloodstone shards. Wow, getting a lot of stuff. So there's three potential pathways. Four. One, two, three. Oh, here's a guy. Oh, there's another boss guy over there. Or not boss, but another big boy. All right. One, two, three. And then there's the fourth, which is uh, across this ravine over there. So we're going to go back where we came from. Because we have enough for a level up anyway. We don't have to fight that guy. Here we go. We want to go this way. That's the bridge. That'll lead us to. Yeah, we have to go on the elevator. This is the shortcut area. Now, what was over here? I think this is just a dead end. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now we can see if they'll give us a, uh, a a way to use these runes. I'm not. I think you might have to imbue your weapon or your person with the rune at that one table, but I don't think we have the ability to use that table yet. Yeah, we can't use that. So can we, hmm. We cannot fortify this. We need three bloodstone chunks now. Hmm. I don't really care about that. What do we have here? Murky striking. Charge attack. Slow poison effect, that's pretty good. Blunt attack up, physical attack. Charge attack will be pretty good. Slow poison's probably okay. I don't... Mm. The, fi the general physical attack power is the really good thing, though. Do we have any better ones for this? This one is physical plus 13.5. No, there's nothing better than this one. Do we have any new things at this thing? We do. Henrik. I don't know what these are good for. Henrik's hat worn by Henrik, the old hunter. The taciturn old hunter Henrik was once partners with Father Gassione, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henrik's tragically long life. Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistance to bolt, and will be the great help to any hunter who's inherited the onus of the hunt. These are the same, same, same. Okay, let's look at them. Cool, 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 cool. All right, what else do we have here? Nothing. Well, what is it? Very well. Let's so we probably need. Okay, we need eighteen thousand. So we're not going to get another level up from this because we would need another eight thousand or nine thousand. Oh, look at this. So our stamina now does not go up at all from the level up. So we have hit, as I guessed, at level forty was the the cap for what effectiveness you get out of stamina. 
or out of anything. So let's up our strength then. Yeah, might as well up the strength. I guess that's going to be the way we go, because I don't really... I'm not that interested in dexterity in in this game because we don't need a bow. Farewell, May. It really sort of simplifies what you need in Bloodborne. Welcome Space Dust to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Space Dust? Join the show. Actually, I can do that too because I'm on a console. Welcome Space Dust to the stream. So, we could buy this outfit. It doesn't look like it has any particularly good traits to it. But it sort of makes me wonder, like there was that one guy in Dark Souls 2 that I think as we bought more of his items, he, he started offering more items. Damn, we have so many blood vials. We have 160 blood vials now. That's what I like to see. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, there was that guy in Dark Souls 2 and he would... Uh, he would uh, offer more items as you bought his items. All right, so Forbidden Woods. We have a few potential zones to go in here. Let's give it a look. I'm gonna drink some coffee. So that guy's there. I don't think we actually have to fight him, though. I'm pretty sure we don't. Oh, yeah, he's the guy who goes on the bridge. So in this run that we created, we have to kill, like, maybe ten of the little snakes. We have to kill maybe one or... No, at least three of those other snake guys, of the snake people. But we figured out how to pull them individually, which is good. That's what we want. And then we have to kill one of the big snakes up to the point where we were. But I think there is more, there's more, you know, coming up. There's one of these snakes right here, behind the tree. Whoa! Whoops. You can't dodge into those guys. You can't dodge and then attack them because you won't be fast enough to uh, get an attack out. So you have to just uh, walk up to them even though it seems like it's faster to dodge. So that this is where that other guy was, or he's coming up here. Any enemy that we pull towards us, we don't want to uh, we don't want to ignore them or run past them because we're still expecting to fight enemies in general. And if we are expecting to fight any enemies, we don't want to uh, pull any enemies because they'll follow us and kill us. You know, like if we have to back up while we're fighting a guy, they'll be behind us. So that's where this guy is.
That's where the big snake, and I think we have to kill this big snake. Because he's coming for us. He, he gets pulled no matter what. So the only thing we want to do first is make sure we get these guys. Because obviously if they decide to come towards us, sometimes Souls enemies will, even if you don't come near them, they'll sort of like, because they know you're fighting another enemy, they'll start coming towards you anyway. blood vial. Okay, so we don't have to kill those other two big boys anymore, but it might force us to do it. Oh right, this is where the, uh, the three guys are. So I think if we stand here, it'll cause the one guy to, his head to explode. Right? Yep, there he is. See him? He's that one. And now he's going to come towards us. Yep. Good stuff. Experimentation. Shun, shun, shun. That's what's important. Get over here already. Ah. Whoa! He got me! Oh. Well. I definitely have to make sure that I, uh. that I, uh. heal to 100%. Because the thing about these snake guys is they, if they get you for a second bite, then it sort of locks you into that combo. So, uh. you'll, you'll end up taking like 80% of your health for damage. And if you didn't heal to 100%, then you will then die, like we just did. It's all good because we're obviously, it's really easy to get back there, but uh, just kind of inconvenient. That's what we're here to do, ladies and gents. Figure out what works, what doesn't. Well, let's do it. This guy always drops a bloodstone shard from what I've noticed. I'm not sure if that's like just blind luck or what. But or maybe he has like a higher chance to do it? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, how did I pull this guy? All right, hello. Oh, nope. See, this is an example where you wanna heal back to 100%. Sometimes their snakes will get you from like unexpected angles too, because it's not like a regular enemy, obviously, where they uh,
where they can only attack forwards. This guy can attack in all directions. have to get past this guy. I'm just gonna do that anyway. I know it was only a sliver of health, but I'm gonna be true to my own strategy here. So yeah, I can't go down because this guy will then start harassing us. So I believe we do have to... Let's see what happens if we go down. I don't know if he can shoot down this... Yeah, he can. So it's not worth it. We might as well just kill him. That's the annoying one. When he only does the one strike, then he'll come back sooner. And it's gotten me a couple times. Making me waste a blood vial. Alright, here we go. Time to fight these guys. So, okay. This spot. Yep, there he goes. Did he eat my souls? I don't think he ate them. I'm not sure who ate them. Oh, the other guy ate them. So I don't know how that happened, but the other guy ate them. Well, you want to get him to so like solid ground, more or less. With no like interferences in between. Oh, crap! Whoa, almost got us there. That's it. See, that's the thing. In Bloodborne, a lot of enemies, you'll get them to like zero health and they'll still be alive. So it's a, it's a pretty good trick. So we want to pull this guy who has our souls. Not that it really matters which one we kill first. All right, here we go. Oh, that was a long arm right there. Got him. Can I stab this guy in the back? Yep. Whoa. See, he's still alive. It might be that backstabs can't kill a guy in one hit. It might be that you have to do an extra hit after a backstab in this game. So we wanted to see what was past this area. And the question is, will those two snake monsters chase us if we don't fight them now? Space Desk getting cheered. Thank you to Space Desk for the cheer. Hold on a sec. Let's get out of this uh, area where enemies are fighting us. Can we get a cheer message on screen as well? Exclamation mark cheer in that chat. Oh, crap. 
pull in more guys. And welcome Pure to Beer to the stream as well. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Pure to Beer joining the stream? Welcome in. Okay, none of these guys are coming for us. So let's get to a safe area. And stand around. Okay, good. Let's get a cheer message on screen. And let's get a brand new uh, voice of snake voice. How about uh, this one? My name is Bundle of Snakes er Eric. I have 5,000 snakes coiling around my body and they all go in different directions and I like to make wave movements with my arms like this because they're all snakes and I, I make um, different sorts of sand paintings with my hand. Like I put glue on a page and I sprinkle the sand around and all of my different snakes will sprinkle sand on a piece of paper, colored sand. It'll make a picture. And they're like really, you know, sort of photorealistic because I'm really good at it. And all my snakes are very artistic, except for one. One of the snakes, I don't know which one, he's very um, destructive. He just puts sand all over everything and it's, it's there's no no rhyme or reason to it i don't like that part but all the other ones are good anyway i also like to uh go to baseball games and and watch the baseballs get smacked around that's a bundle of snakes eric let's get a marker for a bundle of snakes eric thank you space test for the cheer it's highly appreciated anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice snake voice straight from the wiki as their shout out Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new voice of Nick Voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Thank you to Space Dust. It is highly appreciated. And Peer to Beer getting cheer as well. Thank you to Peer to Beer for the cheer. Let's get a cheer message in here. And Peer to Beer is get, celebrating a new bit badge as well. 5,000 bit badge. Thank you to Peer to Beer for the uh, continued support. Here we get some hype in there for Peer to Beer celebrating a milestone on here. And uh, let's get a new uh, voice of Nick voice. How about this one? My name is Viper Jones. I have a Gatling gun, or no, a Tommy gun. And I have a snake for a head, and I have snakes for arms, and I like to shoot my Tommy gun all around and rattle the snake's teeth as they're holding it. Cause I have to like pull the trigger with their, uh, with one of the snake's venomous fangs. I, it, it really hurts him to do that because it's like, ah, it's like, you know, touching his teeth. It's really, uh, it's not very fun for him. But uh, what am I going to do? Not shoot my Tommy gun? I like to shoot my Tommy gun at, like, a wall and, like, spell out my name. It wastes a lot of bullets and it's very uncomfortable for the snakes that are my arms. But I like to do it. It's like my type of graffiti that I do. I have unlimited bullets because I create bullets in my uh, factory at home. I have a bullet factory. By the way, if anyone wants to buy any bullets, I have so many, it's like overflowing my house at this point. It's really become a problem for me. So anybody, a anybody out there, do you have any use for bullets that fit inside of a 1920s Tommy gun? Please let me know. I need somebody to purchase these in bulk. That's Viper Johnny. No, Viper, I think it was Viper Johnny. Let's get a marker in here for Viper Johnny. We have a lot of snake-related characters coming out right now. I, I wonder why. Uh, th thank you to Peer to Beer for the cheer. It is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice to Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout-out. Anyone who uh, donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, verse, verse. Thank you to Peer to Beer for the cheer. It is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers uh, gets that stuff and has the possibility of getting on the cheerleader boards. Now the cheerleader boards are as follows. We have Space Dust making it up there. Third place is Decap Bossman with 200 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. Second place is Space Dust with 400 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. First place is Azur Tundra with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Azur Tundra. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. Let's jump back into it. Here we go. Space Dust getting that hype. Celebrating Peer to Beer's 5K bit badge. Look at that thing right in front of your name too. It's looking real, real handsome. Very handsome. I got a piece of hair on my shirt or something. Ah, there it is. Little Tom, welcome to the stream. 
I heard it would be a voice. You heard correctly. Let's get a, uh, a cheer message in here. And uh, let's create a new voice and a voice. Let's uh, get an exclamation mark high for Lil Tom joining the show as well. Welcome in, Lil Tom, to the stream. Uh, how about this one? My name is Single Snake L L Lonnie. I am one tiny little garden snake inside the Forbidden Forest. I like to prance around and have a, a jolly time, but I don't go near any of the other larger snakes because they all laugh at me and they say, why do you only have one snake? You're not a bunch of snakes coiled together like all of us. And I say, I mean, honestly, that's you know, the normal thing to be is a single snake, not a bunch of snakes put together. And they say, in Yarnum, it's the normal thing to be a bunch of snakes. And then I get into a big argument and it, it wastes a lot of time. So you never really get anywhere with those arguments anyway. Anyway, I like to uh, drink milk out of the ponds. All of the ponds in this forbidden forest are made of milk. So I, I like to drink them and suck them into my vampire teeth. Oh yeah, also I'm a vampire. I turn people into snakes when they're not looking. So sometimes I'll bite a tree and it'll turn into a big snake. <laughs> That's a single snake, uh, a single snake, um, Lonnie? Single snake Lonnie, that's his name. Let's get a marker in here for single snake Lonnie. Good stuff, very, very good stuff. Thank you to little Tom for the cheer as well. Uh, it is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Thank you, little Tom, for the cheer. It is highly appreciated. Now let's jump back into the Bloodborne. So we have... I believe we are in a new area and there's gonna be a big boy over there so let's try and pull some of these smaller snake monsters before we have to fight the big boy and we can just sit here and drink our coffee because they take forever to get over here yeah for anyone who might not be familiar with the souls games um, the reason that we have to sort of like walk away from the enemies before we do anything is because you can't pause these games. Like even if you pause it, it doesn't actually pause anything. But I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. Just in case you don't. Treat snake with care. Ow. Ow. There we go. We want to do it after the second volley of attacks, not the first. Two. There you go. And if he ever does a one volley, then we don't hurt him. There you go. Right there. Good. Yeah, if he does one attack, then it's a different speed and it'll actually uh, be able to hit us after our thing. Have audience with the lost. Here we go. Hmm. Oh man, down here is a whole bunch of stuff. Peter saying, so that's why I keep randomly losing when I play Souls games. Yep. Enemies coming at you from all sides. I wonder if this leads back to... Oh, this is back to where the uh, two snakemen were. Good. And this probably leads us back into that other area. But I would like to check the satellite area first. Reeks of physical attack. It might be a, a rune that gives us physical. Or it might be a monster. Frenzied cold blood. Hmm. Well, no physical attack here. Alright.
that's where the big boy was. Now you want to go down here. And it, it costs about 19000 to get... Oh, crap. So we can't go down here because this is an uh, irreversible decision. It probably leads to a good place, but we don't want to do it now because we can't get back up. So that's, we know about this area. What's happening over there? Somebody's attacking? What happened? Who's attacking this thing? I don't know what that was. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that guy. It's another uh, boar enemy. I wonder when he starts coming towards us. He could be pretty dangerous, I'm imagining. Let's go up this way. What's over here? I'm guessing this might lead... Yep, this leads... This is the pathway that is to the left of the ravine. Okay. So let's try and pull the little snakes. Uh-oh, we pulled the big boy. Or did we? No, he luckily did not turn all the way around. We just have to wait for the little snakes. And we have to get them to come over here, or else the other guy will pull as well. Come on. What's everybody's plan for today? this Wednesday. Alright, sir. Do your worst. Whoop. So down there is some stuff. I'm not sure if you have to jump down to get that, but we're not going to jump down now. Um, we might not have been... Oh, yeah, we have been to this area, because I remember we could jump over there. Oh, this guy jumped down from the ceiling. Look at that. He was sitting in the tree, I guess. So I'm going to guess that we can't jump back from this area, because look, it's lower than than here. So we're not going to go to this whole zone. But we now know that this connects. We want to kill the boar guy, but I would like to know who else is here. We're probably going to end up accidentally pulling him anyway. Give it our best shot. Honestly, I want to know if he's an enemy. Yeah, he probably is. Oh, big hit. Ah! See, our biggest problem here is that we can't get past him. We're in too constrained of an area. Thursday and Wednesday is over. Long weekend? 
Oh, you booked a long weekend to Athens. Cool. That's gonna be fun. Despicable seduction. Okay, so now we can actually look around. So we have 20,000 souls now, which is to say that we can actually uh, just go level up if we wanted. Whoa. What's going on? He just spawned an enemy? What is this? Did he spawn those guys? Damn. Oh! Mmm. That long arm attack can get you. Certainly can. Got him! Alright, now... Okay. This, there's nothing. You were saying, look at the guy through a mirror. Yeah, it's our best shot. Oh, so look, when he does that, he's actually summoning snake monsters. Interesting. So we have to pull him really far away from the other snakes then. Got him? No. Not got him. Whoa! We're really wasting a lot of, uh... We're gonna have to go back just because we don't have any more blood vials soon. Unless we get some more. Alright, that's where we have been. There's a pathway up there. When there's one snake monster, there's gonna be another. Typically, you can count on that. Damn, this is a big old area. It's a really big area. I think these two zones will connect to each other. Beware of man beast. Uh oh. Rally. Oh, they're talking about when the guy whistles for the snakes. I think they disappeared, though. I think the snakes that he... Oh, look at that. There's clearly an area down there, because you can see an item. I'm pretty sure that's the zone where you would jump down to that we already found, but we don't want to jump down to any zones before we know how to get out of them. Reeks of hidden path. Beware of fall. Your snake. Yep. First rule of any Souls game is never attempt to get an item that's just sitting there without first looking for enemies. The biggest rookie mistake of them all. Alright. Good. So now we have done that, this... Oh, there's a big boy. Alright, so they, these snakes are still here. And if we go any closer to that guy, he's going to start shooting venom at us. So we have to first kill these, then kill that, and I would like to keep going. We'll see what happens.
If we don't get any more uh, blood vials soon, we're going to have to come back no matter what. yourself so you hit both of them. Ow. Dang it. I thought I heard another enemy over there. Whoa. So don't attack after that one. You have to attack after this one. There we go. No mercy for insects. Is that because snakes eat insects? I don't think they do. I don't know. Here we go. So we have now made a full circle, but there's one other area to check here, which is uh, the shortcut above the grass. So hold on. We want to go on this log. Where was that log? That's the log. They want to check for anything around here. And if I jump off of this, obviously we can't come back on the log, but we know that we can return in other ways. Grave guard robe manchette kilt. Let's check it. Oh. Oh. Now, what does this get us? Will any of this be better for uh, poison? This is a church. 63 slow poison resist. Grave guard has 50 slow poison. So we probably won't put that on. Robe of Doris, grave guard of the forbidden woods. Countless bloodied ritual tools hang from its back. Willem kept two loyal servants back at Bergenworth. When they were sent to the labyrinth, they encountered the Eldritch Truth and went mad. One became the password gatekeeper, while Doris became a grave guard of the forest. Both remained loyal, even in madness. Covered in blood of untidy rituals. All right, so one of them was the guy who stood behind the door and didn't let us in. 27, 29, and 50, and this is 63, I don't know, 36, 63, and, and what? What's our, what are our hands? 28, so that's still better than this, which is 27. This one is 29, what is the legs that we have? 36, okay, this is not better for us, so we're gonna use this one. So now the only way to go is that way, because both of these lead back to the same zone. So there's the one area where you can jump down, and there's this. Good. Narrowing it down. We have 28,000 blood echoes, so we can level up now. And the question is, oh look at that, that's a big old lake, there's probably going to be a boss there. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, there's not a boss. There's a big uh, pig monster. There could be a boss here, though. And it's really not worth attempting it now. Twin bloodstone shards. But we can no longer do this... Um... We can't upgrade our weapon with twin bloodstone shards. Okay, so what we want to do is go back, level up, and then do our thing. 
How do we get that? Look at that. There's an item up there. I have no idea how we would get that. Let's go to higher ground and check. If you're saying, do you like shopping? Um, I guess. I like uh, having cool stuff. I don't, wouldn't say I do a lot of shopping for the sake of shopping. Oh god, look at that guy. He's like a little alien. What in the heck is going on here? What are these guys? This is a whole new area here. Holy crap. I thought this would lead back down. So we've now screwed ourselves. I mean, not really, because I can still, uh... I can still just take a... a item back, but damn. There we go. Can I lock onto this guy? Let me lock onto you. There we go. Almost. We just don't want to have to be on his level if we don't have to be. Alright, well we're down here now. We might as well take a look at it. Madman's Knowledge, Tempering Blood Gemstone. And it's pretty simple to get back here, so it's not that big of a deal if we die in here. Do you like shopping peer to peer? Whoa. Why do they have these big bulbous heads? What are they? Guardians of the forest? Do not know. Oh, what in the heck is that? Holy crap. Oh, they have magic. We haven't really seen any casters. Are they two different enemies or one? That's two. Let's see if we can use fire on them. Yeah, fire works pretty well. Space is saying the grays. Yeah, where's the bureau when you need him? Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. One of the metamorphosis runes raises stamina. A secret symbol left by Carol Runesmith of Bergenworth. The twisted cross means metamorphosis. Rotated anti-clockwise, this rune boosts stamina. The discovery of blood made their dream of evolution a reality. The metamorphosis and the excesses and deviation that followed was only the beginning. All right. I would definitely like that. Any stamina upgrades are always fine by me. So these guys, we only really want to pull one at a time, because they do like half of our health bar with damage if they actually hit you, and they run at you really fast. So like, you're, you're pretty likely to get swarmed. Hmm. Beer projectile, therefore firearm is effective. Oh, are there more magic casters? Probably. Peter is saying you like to shop with purpose. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really like to be uh, judgmental about the way other people like to do things. But, uh,. I definitely am the same about uh, about uh, how I shop when if I ever do it. Fierce snake, time for giant beasts. Beware the kin of the cosmos. Oh, that seems pretty likely. So maybe they are actual aliens. Maybe that's the idea in the game is that they're aliens. 
OK, yeah, this is leading us back to the boss area. And this is clearly a boss area. So what we're going to do is uh, not the hunter's mark. We want the bold hunter's mark. We have to look at it in our item menu, though, because I want to see the description. Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. We have 12 of these that we have acquired. I've never used one except when they tutorialized it. So let's use it. The bold hunter's mark. <clears throat> Here we go. Now, we can't get two level ups, but we're pretty close. We could probably buy a second level up. What are we at right now? If we had 40,000, we could get two level ups. If we even had 38,000, I think we could do it. So let's go back to the hunter's dream. And we're going to be fighting a boss soon. That's like pretty guaranteed. And you know what's good is that if we go down past the aliens, then we'll go into the boss zone in such a way that we don't have to fight the boar guy. So that's probably a good place to like do the boss run. All right, so let's eat enough souls that we get 38,000. What does this get us? 3,000, so now we're at 37. So now you only need 1,000 more. Let's maybe make it 2,000 just for good measure. Welcome home. What is very well? Let me. Oh, I was so close. I didn't account for the fact that it would cost more for the second level up. So, what I want to do is actually see if endurance. In Dark Souls 2, it's definitely diminishing returns for endurance or anything when you, uh, you know, go past level 40, but you still can get. You can still get. Uh, level ups for it. Like you can still get returns. Welcome and we ended up going way past level 40, but just by brute forcing it because I always keep so many souls. So with this, it literally does not give you any more stamina. 160 seems to be the highest you can get. Unless it takes three level ups to get it. So we might as well go for more damage then. Eventually we'll get more vitality too, but I'm not that interested. Farewell, We have 149 blood vials. <clears throat> that is a good number of blood vials. Can we buy anything else on the cheap? We cannot. All right, ladies and gents, that is going to do it for Bloodborne today. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show. Now, we are going to raid at the end of this. So let's get that raid message in the chat. I'm going to post that right now. And uh, you can see that if you copy that thing down, it says Meatball Marauders are here to party. If you copy that down and paste it into the chat, it'll show up as your username color. So get ready to do that. Of course, we uh, like to assemble our raiding party before we head into the raid by posting it in here. And I really do appreciate it if you post that raid message into the channel we end up going into because, of course, it does really support this stream and show them that you're coming in with the raid, uh, which is always appreciated. So uh, give that a shot if you're interested in doing that. Now, uh, if you don't know the channel, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of the game uh, or uh, suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see more of what happens on the channel, type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going now, including Bloodborne. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven. We're currently at zero. We just reset that. So the next person to follow will tink, break ground on that follower goal. The 25th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. That one is called Learn to Love the Grind of Twitch Streaming. And that's going to help you to uh, not burn out on Twitch, you know, getting your channel uh, growing and, and doing all the things you need to do to grow your channel. 
so that you can stay in it for the long haul. Now, if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 25 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat below. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have in first place, Nobody with $5. That is a gold star and anonymous donation. Thank you to Nobody. On the cheer leaderboards, we have in third place, Decap Bossman with 200 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. Second place is Space Dust with 400 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. And first place is Azur Tundra with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Azur Tundra. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You're directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking, improving, adding things to the Twitch streams you see in front of you, whether it is creating and posting content that goes on the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it is uh, improving the Discord, whether it's updating the wiki, whether it is writing, recording, posting all of the Twitch playbook episodes, all of that stuff is in large part thanks to all of you guys for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is so highly appreciated. Now let's see if we can find somebody to raid on here, ladies and gents. We're going to take a look around Twitch to see if we can find a, a person to raid. Thank you to Space Dust for posting that uh, raid emote set, by the way. It is very much appreciated to everybody who does uh, post those raid messages into the chat of the, the channel we end up going into because it does very much support the channel. Um, so let's see in here if we can find somebody to join who may or may not be playing a game of ours. Now the way we do, like to do raids on this channel is that we always raid someone who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series, so as not to see any information about games that we're currently playing or any games that we plan on playing in the future. So let's see if we can find any uh, video games that uh, we have previously done. I'm gonna look through and, uh, and take a look through some of these channels here. We have had many an amazing gameplay series on this channel. I've really, really enjoyed the uh, the stuff that we have gotten a chance to play there's just a lot of fun stuff out there and it's funny because if you look at you know at the beginning of this it was like we we're always rating someone who's playing a previous game of ours and then that would mean that it's like a pretty small choice you know a small bunch of choices for games that you could actually raid into Somebody? and now it's become like a pretty large like uh, you know bunch of games and speaking of large bunch of games, we are going to uh, go into one of the largest games that is out there. We're going to go into Red Dead Redemption 2, which is a person playing it called Bread Witchery, who is playing Red Dead Redemption 2. It is a blind first playthrough. So let's all enjoy that, ladies and gents. Make sure you show that love. Send that love over to Bread Witchery and uh, paste that raid message in there. I will see you all later. We have two more video game streams coming up and one more secret stream if you can find it. But until then, guys, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you.